You were engaged to be married. Why didn't you go on? Why didn't you go on with the relationship? Ciao! <laughs> Says, how old are you actually? Please help us set the record straight. Been arguing with my sisters. <laughs> you seem like someone who has a lot of money. <laughs> how do you make your money? <laughs> Welcome to another episode of the Delicious Cooking Series and welcome to the very first mukbang video on this channel. <laughs> this mukbang video has been a long time coming and I'm super excited to finally film it. In this video, right, I'm going to be answering some of the questions that you guys sent in. A couple of days ago, I made a post on my Instagram and my YouTube pages asking you guys to send me whatever questions that you want to ask. And I'm going to try my best to answer it all like you guys. The questions poured in in their numbers. And the questions are a mix of personal questions, career questions, um, business questions, um, YouTube questions, like food questions, like so many questions. And I'm going to try my best to answer it all as truthfully as possible. And of course, I'm, it's the perfect day to eat out. Yes, guys, I eat out. I just ordered some food from... Um, one of my favorite restaurants in this pack right here. I have some um, 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 Rice noodles. I have um, rice stir fry. I have my spring rolls. I have this um, Amazing like I love this so much. It's corn corn and chicken soup. Love it. Love it. Love it And then of course my vegetarian um, Sauce and then this is just some vegetable spring rolls and I'm just gonna grab my drink quickly and a plate And then we'll get this party Okay guys, so I have my cutlery here, my plates, everything is set and I have the questions on my phone. Whew, this question, ciao! <laughs> you guys really came at me real strong. But first, this is a mukbang video, right? So I have to be doing some eating. I'm just going to serve the food. I don't eat a lot of food, guys. Like, I don't eat a lot. I try my best not to eat a lot. In, in fact, my stomach has gotten used to not eating a lot of food. So the very first question that I have here is, what's your skincare routine? My skincare routine is very simple, very basic. Um, I try to have my bath at least two times a day. I try, sometimes it's not hard to keep up, but I try my best. But I'm a firm believer in taking care of your, of your skin from inside, so I'm, um, what I mean by that is taking care of your skin by from what you eat. So I drink lots of water. I, I drink two large like 1.5 liter bottles or three liters of water every day. I tend to load up on lots of vegetables and fruits that help your skin pop like your carrots, um, oranges. I take lots of oranges. I take lots of carrots. Like those are the skin popping um, fruits and veggies. Like, what else do I do? I eat right, I eat at the right time, I eat the right things. And I think naturally I just have really good skin. Well, God bless me with really good skin. But I do my best to ensure that I take good care of it. And then I have a facial routine at least once every week where I um, undergo a five-step procedure. And I use only natural ingredients on my face for my facials. I don't use the scrubs that I use and not, I'm all made from natural ingredients, like ingredients that you can literally put in your mouth and eat. Ingredients that you can literally find in your kitchen. So I perform this five step um, facial routine. If you want the procedure, um, the steps and the ingredients that I use, um, let me know in the comment section and then I'll see what I can do about that. But that's what I do once in a week, I just, um, I perform this five-step routine on Saturdays to be precise and then afterwards um, um, every day of the week of course I wash my face I don't need makeup on my face when I when I'm done with whatever I hardly wear makeup when I'm not in front of the camera because I don't like a lot of makeup so I, I, I hardly do that and I don't pray a lot I just I just do very minimal stuff if you want the routine, the five-step routine that I do for my for my facial days, you can let me know in the comment section and then I'll share it with you all. It's a bit like you'll be amazed, but the health benefits and the impact of this, of the procedure on your face is amazing. I'm supposed to be eating, right? I'm not just talking. <laughs> mm, mm, this 
a nine. Mm -mm. This one tastes a lot better. Really nice. Mm. Mm. Just in case anyone is asking, I left my table manners at the door before I got here, so pardon me. The second question that I have here is from Kachi Huda. She says, do you work somewhere else or do you do full YouTube full time? Okay, no, I don't work somewhere else. And um, YouTube is not what I do full time. YouTube is just part of what I do. Um, I run a full time food company, like a full time food company. And I also have other businesses that I do as well. So the Zalicious Food Company um, handle, does a whole lot of stuff we do from content creation for YouTube, we also produce content for TV, and we also work with, um, we partner with brands to help them produce their videos and video contents, and that's, that's all food related. And then um, we have other businesses as well, um, one of which we're gonna be making public really soon. I'm gonna start the production of um, fruit cakes. I, I from developed this fruit cake recipe that's amazing, and, um, everyone has been telling me to commercialize it, so I think it's a, a really good opportunity to start commercializing it. So we, we're almost done with the whole process, the logistics, and um, everything involved, and very soon we'll publicize it, and then you'll be able to buy a fruit cake from me, from Zolicious Foods, <laughs> not me. <laughs> so, anyways, yeah. So we have um, YouTube is not the only thing I do. I do YouTube. I run my food business company full time. I also have other businesses. That I do as well. You guys, I'm not even eating this food. I don't think this is a mukbang anymore. <laughs> mm. Um. Okay. Mm. Wow. This next question is quite interesting. I'm, I'm wondering, should I? <laughs> should I talk about this? Wow, dear. This person must have known me from way back. So the question says. Hmm. You were engaged to be married. Why didn't you go on? Why didn't you go on with the relationship? Ciao! <laughs> Who are you though? <laughs> that question is so deep. Um hmm. This person is someone who knows me. I don't know. What's the name of this handle? I need to go and check out that person's page. Yes, I was actually engaged to be married some time ago, but um, things didn't work out. Life happened. And to be honest, guys, I'm saying this with no disrespect to anyone. I think quitting that relationship was one of the best things that I ever did in my life. And it happened... Um, because there was so many drama, so much, so much, so much drama. So it didn't work out because it wasn't supposed to work out. Like the drama was just so much in terms of, um, and to be honest with you, I, I, I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. For me, marriage is something that I take really seriously. And, um, I'm quite, I'm quite, um, um, I'm well read like I read a lot of books and I read a lot of books that had to do with um, having a purpose filled life um, doing everything you do intentionally for a purpose and for a reason and when it came to that particular one for that particular marriage it wasn't purposeful for me it just felt like Oh, let's do it because everyone else is doing it. Everyone thinks you are cute together or everyone thinks that mm, you should work. But it didn't work out. Yeah, and I'm proud to say it. I'm over it though. I, like, I'm so over it. It didn't work out, but um, we're fine. We're cool. I mean, I'm friends with, with the guy, but it just didn't work out. I just know who asked me this question. That person is so nosy though. Like, jeez, you guys. <laughs> 
just work out um and it's something that um i look back on and i am um, i'm grateful for the experience that i had because it taught me so much and it also forced me into a period where i had to go and learn so much about myself and i learned so much about what i really wanted out of life and um what i really wanted out of um um, what I really wanted from a marriage or a relationship because really you guys it's not about getting married Don't let anyone pressure you into getting married because it's not all about that Marriage is one thing staying married is another Do you think you're, you're ready for the? Responsibility the stuff that goes into getting married with the wrong person Ugh. It's a lot Get, get married for the right reasons and with the right person and you'll definitely know when the right person comes along okay someone says how old are you actually please help us set the record straight been arguing with my sisters <laughs> how old do i look <laughs> let's leave it there why would you guys be arguing about my age though like <laughs> how old do i look let me know in the comment section how old you guys think I look. I really want to know how old you think I look. And then maybe one day I'll spill my real age. But until then, I'm ageless and I'm timeless. <laughs> okay, the next question is, are you settling down soon? Hmm. I have got a lot of these questions. Are you in a relationship? Who is a lucky guy? Which part of who is a lucky guy? Um, um, are you in a relationship? Are you in a relationship? Like so many, are you in a relationship? Questions. Um, yes, I'm in a relationship. Proudly. <laughs> and about settling down soon. Mm, soon to be, maybe, 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 maybe. But like I said, for me, marriage is not just about saying I do. Right now, I'm so well, like I'm so knowledgeable about what marriage is about, and it's something I'm very, very careful about, like making the making a decision. Like I have to do it for the right reasons, and I have to ensure that I'm doing it with someone who is actually my purpose partner, and not just a marriage partner. He has to be a purpose partner, and so far, we're doing a pretty good job. Cheers, guys. <laughs> okay. Mm. the next question here says which state are you from i'm from anambra state proudly Igbo, from obunike to be precise Ndibo. Kwenu. Mm. someone says what did you start cooking officially i mean as a i mean as a career or maybe she meant to say when did you start cooking officially okay as a career i started in 2017 and it started with me having a show on Love World Plus. Love World Plus is a TV station owned by my church, Christ in Mercy. I had a, 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 a cooking show on their platform for a while before I started having, um, before I ported into doing cooking shows for YouTube. And now we are on major TV stations in Nigeria and in some parts of Africa, Kenya and Ghana to be precise, just in case you didn't know. Yeah, the ministry is going really well. So. I started officially in 2017. That's about three years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The next question is, um, okay, which part of Nigeria am I from? Hi Z, thanks for all the content. When would you be uploading the plant-based meal YouTube videos? I have started already. It means you've not been following. I have started, but I, I already filmed a couple of them. I just need to work with my editor to ensure that the videos come out real fast but we are i have filmed a couple of them and i have some on the channel already please check it's not a lot though I, so i totally get you i'm coming okay i'm coming i will give you guys everything that i promised the workload has literally tripled i'm not kidding mm. someone says was the vegan diet very effective and how many kgs did you lose in what and, and in what amount of time First of all, it's not, I didn't go on a vegan diet, I went on a plant-based diet. There's a difference, like I said before, and I didn't do it because I wanted to lose weight. I did it because I wanted to eat healthy. But in that process, I actually lost a lot of weight. I lost about 4 kg in weight. And I think that it was one of the, like, 
the, the, the diet was actually very effective because it made me more conscious of what I was eating and it made me more conscious about eating more natural organic foods and um foods that are really really very healthy made me drink lots of water I was so passionate about it and I saw the effects on not just my skin it showed on my weight like the way, way I felt I felt very lightweight I felt very I felt energized it boosted my mood it boosted my energy levels it did a lot of good to me I must say like it did a lot of good to me and I lost 4 kg in weight I lost, I lost 4 kg in weight so yeah it's something that I would recommend I didn't do it for the weight like I said I did it because I wanted to eat healthier someone said how do you maintain your body weight as a foodie hmm just because I love to cook doesn't mean I love to eat. I mean, I've had a bowl of rice in front of me, a plate of rice in front of me for so long. I have not eaten and touched it. To be honest, I eat. I eat, but I don't eat a lot. Okay, so um, I need a little more sauce. The next question is from... Ugh, the name sounds funny. The question is, you seem like... Ah, ah, this question is interesting. You seem like someone who has a lot of money. <laughs> How do you make your money? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> oh, I look like someone that has money, huh? <laughs> I love that though. <laughs> well, <clears throat> I think this question was actually a very serious question and that just was even though it sounds nosy though, but <laughs> Um, I would say that I make my money from different means. One of my major goals in life, or one of my main goals in this life, is to have at least 10 streams of income by the age of 30. So far, I have four streams of income. And yeah, so I make my money from different means and different um, different um, medium. There's a, there's a lot of ways I make my money. Um, um, I like to think of myself as a serial entrepreneur. Making money is a hobby for me. It's something I love to do. I love to create um, things that provide value for people, and then in and then in turn they give me money for it. I love money. I love to make money. It's something that I'm excited about. I love to to create things and watch things grow from nothing. It's a hobby. Like is is one of my major passions. And so having um, multiple streams of income is one of the ways that I, I make a lot of money. The next question is from Folap underscore Petite. I hope I got that correctly. She says, you like reading lots of books. Yes, I actually love reading. And do cooking books help at all? I'm, I think she meant to say cookbooks. Um, yeah, I have a couple of cookbooks. I have um, um, from a couple of uh, cookbooks from friends and cookbooks that I just found really interesting. I haven't referred to cookbooks though, but once in a while, when I need a lot of, when I need some form of inspiration, I just go through the cookbooks and I just, and sometimes I literally go through cookbooks because of the pictures. I just want to see the pictures and the pictures just get me hungry. I like the idea of having cookbooks. I have a cookbook coming up though, by the way, just so that you know. So get ready to buy my cookbook, okay? <laughs> oh, you guys will love this one. Like, it's something, there's something for everyone in that cookbook, I promise. And we've put in so much work already. I really cannot wait for the whole world to see what um, my team and I have created with that book. That book is amazing and it would help a lot of people, health conscious lovers, comfort food lovers. It's the book for everyone. Okay, so get ready, okay? The next question is, why are you vegetarian? Is meat that bad? I'm not vegetarian, guys. I'm not vegan. Like, I'm not vegan. <laughs> I um, I started, yeah, one of the main reasons I actually went on a plant-based diet journey was um, because I wanted to understand the diet a whole lot more. And to understand something, you have to soak yourself into it. So I went all in into it. And I actually think it's an amazing um diet because um a lot of doctors call it a lifestyle medicine yeah and it's a, a diet now plant-based diet does not necessarily mean you cut out animal produce you you still eat animal produce but in very little quantity it's when you're vegan that you don't eat animal produce i'm not vegan please 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 don't get me wrong guys there's a difference between being vegan and being and being uh, on a plant-based diet right there's a big difference so i'm not vegan 
although being i am um, going on the plant-based diet journey was an amazing still an amazing one because i've had so many benefits naturally i'm a health conscious person and i'm a healthy eater so going on the diet wasn't really hard for me it was very 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 exciting and i discovered so many amazing things and i've also developed countless of plant-based um, recipes and you guys it's been incredible and i would say that yes it has really helped if you mean plant-based but not vegetarian though please i'm not vegan i'm plant-based there's a difference okay i've trained my stomach to not want to eat so much and i don't like to see a lot of food on my plate so i eat a lot sometimes i eat five times a day but i eat very little portions and i of course i work out i work out three times a week those who know me know me i don't joke with my workouts and you guys water is life water makes it all okay so try inculcating lots of water into your diet and see the miracle happen okay shemi abat asks in one word describe your love for cooking exhilarating like oof <laughs> child i love to cook love 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 it I don't, I don't think i want to be doing anything else but cooking apart from just cooking i love creating and developing new recipes like i love being very creative in the kitchen it's just Frida V65 asks, <laughs> you have a man or nah? Diary ready, like, <laughs> he's ready with the diary, man. Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> do you even know how much my diary is worth? Like, do you know how much it costs? <laughs> that was bold, though. Um, Someone says, I, hi, I'm a body and food content creator. Would you mind a collab in January? Hmm, okay, Pearl, Pearl Omo, send me a DM. I'm always willing to help anyhow I can, okay? Another one says, you are so beautiful. Are you in a relationship? Yes, I am. Um, what's the next question? How often do you eat? I eat. I try to eat, but like I said, I control my portions. Sometimes I eat five times a day, sometimes six. Mm -hmm. But I eat very small portions. Um, are you on a diet plan? If yes, can you throw in some tips? Will I call it a diet plan? Um, I basically just like to eat things that actually add some kind of benefit to my body. So I don't do, I just don't eat for the sake of eating. I ask myself, what am I deriving from this food I'm eating? What's the benefit? I need to be deriving something. So I always, if the answer is always, oh, for the pleasure, for the pleasure. Nah, you are doing it wrong. You have to be actually deriving something from what you're eating. Either health wise it definitely has to be health wise it has to be providing some form of vitamins and nutrients to your body and that's very important so i'm just very mindful of what i eat and how i eat it and i like i always say portion control is the secret to everything control your portions okay the next question says i love your content which church do you attend i attend christ embassy i mean that's if you follow me on instagram you'll know that that's not a hidden thing Christ Embassy, all the way. Been a member for over nine years. Mm. I love the church. The next question I said, um, um, somebody asked me, what's your bachelor's degree? I think the person was going to ask, what? Do you have a bachelor's degree or a master's degree? Well, I have a bachelor's degree from the University of Lagos um, in um, a bachelor of science in economics. I studied economics in school, economics in school. Economics. I studied whatever economics. Economics. What's the right pronunciation? I know I've had an issue with someone about the right pronunciation. I should have studied economics in school. Economics. Economics. From the University of Lagos. Greater Cockeye. <laughs> um, the next question here is: Who is the who's your biggest inspiration? Um, my biggest inspiration that I would say I would say is it's not a okay. Yeah, if it's a person, then I would say the Holy Spirit. I love the Holy Spirit and he's the only one that can literally inspire me to do what I do. If we're talking about a real person in real life, to be honest, I'm not so sure. But if it's about a thing, I would say that my biggest inspiration stems from the fact that I have to fulfill the purpose for which I've been sent to the earth. So fulfilling my purpose is like what makes me super duper inspired. And then maybe making my mom proud, making my mom proud of me, and then my late dad, making them proud. They also inspire me as well. Um, but if I'm not so sure about anyone else, 
to be honest. I'm thinking, who is my biggest inspiration? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Who's my biggest inspiration? But who's my biggest inspiration? To be honest. Let's just leave it at the Holy Spirit. He's the one that inspires me so much. The next question someone else asks is, how are you able to keep going in times when you feel less motivated? When I feel less motivated, what I do, to be honest with you, is um, go back to a happy place in, mem in memory. Like, when I say happy place in memory, like, go back to a place where um, something, an, an occasion, an event that made me really happy, that triggered me, that made me so excited about life. And then, of course, I also remind myself why I started what I started or why I'm doing what I'm doing, depending on what I'm doing. And um, one other thing I do, you guys, one other thing I do, and this is why I like to take videos and make pictures of events. So whenever I feel demotivated, one thing I like to do is I just go on my phone and open my phone, my photo gallery, and I just go through all the photos and the pictures and the videos that I have taken in the past with people, myself, and for some reason, it always makes me very happy. Like, it just puts adrenaline into my bones and just gets me going again. And one other thing I do when I feel demotivated is I just stop. Like, I stop working and I just take some time out. Like, do something else apart from work. Maybe watch a movie, hang out with friends. I just literally stop the work. I mean, you can't go on when you're feeling demotivated. No, you need to get to you need to get your inspiration back and so what i do is i stop literally and just go and find that my motivation right back 